Hello beautiful Taurus, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and this reading is Timeless. Taurus, <laughs> this is a very interesting reading. In the recent past, your energy is the Devil card and the Three of Cups. That energy really speaks to the fact that you may be very, very good friends with a person that you feel this obsessive, compulsive kind of sensuality, sexuality. You have an amazing chemistry. You've probably had this for a long time. Right now, the energy with your person is just kind of minding your own business, doing your work. We have the Eight of Coins and the Nine of Coins. You may know each other from work. There is definitely a, a friendship attachment here. Your person sees the two of you as not really ready to make any kinds of commitments. Your person is very much wants to be there for you. The Nine of Wands, they're willing to fight for the bond. They don't want this to go anywhere. The Page of Swords says that they're studying this situation. They certainly watch you on um, social media. They really do. They view you as having left them in the cold because they see you with a surfboard, ready to have fun, ready to enjoy yourself. And it doesn't look like they're part of the equation too much. This person has remorse and regret. Uh, they felt as though the two of you would be maybe friends with benefits is very much how this looks to me. Um, but they caught some feelings that they didn't plan on having. I also get that this person used to view the way forward is that you were potentially a marriage partner for them. And it looks like with the moon reversed, it does look as though this is not a secret. I feel as though I feel as though the two of you are not on the same page and it feels as though the other Taurus instead of you is struggling, you know? Because again they see you as a person who left them in the cold and with all that remorse and regret, they're very confused because they thought there was a future and now they're beginning to think that the reality is, is that you would never have any interest in them for a long-term committed relationship. Energies can be vice versa. We all know that if you watch tarot enough and all the cards don't have to apply to you. Some parts can apply and others will not. Taurus, your person, you guys are so magnetic together, but look at this energy. The hidden energy between the two of you is very in and out. One of you may be married with this moon card and it's in the open. But the two of you look like you could be having a secret affair with the magician card. And again, this will resonate differently with different people. But with the magician card and the player energy of the Knight of Wands, it does look as though you meet secretly. You keep it concealed, although your person doesn't want to. It looks like you are more comfortable with that, Taurus. The energy and the advice from Spirit is just take care of yourself, Taurus. Aries energy. You know, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. And the energy for your outcome right now is that somebody loves you very, very much with this King of Cups card. They're very much in their feels and they feel guarded, but they don't think, you know, you're not really pursuing them. So they don't really, they don't really know where they stand with you. The hermit card means that it does look like you're not speaking currently with this person. So it looks like a really deep friendship, a really wild attraction, lots of love making, having fun when it's kind of convenient, but you have the eight, nine, and 10 of pentacles here. So this can lead to something. But Taurus, I actually think this is interesting because 
the six, seven, and eight of pentacles, this is your energy, Taurus. You're working on something, and it does look like you could be working on a project with your person. But there's secrecy here. There's definitely a secret story here. Let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has to say about this connection. Ooh, vanishing mirror. Vanishing mirror. Your person feels as though they look in the mirror and then all of a sudden everything's gone. Very interesting energy. I'm going to put that by the hermit card. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. We're going to clarify with a lot more cards. This is a mystery. This is a bit of a mystery reading. So let's see what we have here, Taurus. What else do we need to know from the shamans? Root girl, the disowned self. Somebody is not claiming this relationship, even though they're very, very much in love. Somebody is keeping secrets here. This relationship, Taurus, looks more like a secret for you than your person. But again, it could be vice versa. Very, very fascinating energy. So what else do we need to know, Spirit, about this connection? I don't think it's going anywhere. The tidy house clarity and organization is what your person seeks. They want to be absolutely clear because the moon card's reversed. So I'm going to do a spread of cards on how your person feels about you. Sort of a little bit of a you, you, but not the versus them. You know how you feel. I'm just looking at their feels. What do they want in this connection? What does Taurus love interest? Person they came to ask about want out of this. What does this person want with Taurus? because there's a lot of secrecy, a lot of quiet, a lot of obsession. Okay, Nine of Wands willing to do the work. We've got the Nine of Wands here, the Nine of Wands reversed, and now the Nine of Wands in a different deck. Your person wants you. They do not plan on giving this up. They don't know what to do next, but they don't want to give you up, Taurus. So let's see, what else can we you tell us about this person? and how they feel about Taurus and what they want with Taurus. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They really want you to be square with them. They want you to tell them, Taurus, whether you would consider them in partnership or not. Again, you may feel it's a moot point if the person's married, but the King of Swords energy. Your person wants, again, that's a truth-telling energy. They want to know if you're strategizing, if you're playing, if this is just, you know, a roll in the hay, whether it's something, whether you have emotions for them, because they're not feeling it. They are not feeling it. This person really does feel as though, oh, there we go. There's the Ace of Cups. They love you. Your person loves you. Ace of Cups energy. They caught feelings they didn't expect to. It looks like you guys were in agreement that this was going to be a fling and not a thing. But here we go. We have the Lover's card. So the Lover's card, the Ace of Cups. It's time to make a choice. Your person, Taurus, is going to invite you in is what I'm feeling here. Yep, here we go. Six of Pentacles. Have coffee together. Your person's going to have the talk with you. They want to communicate with you. They've thought this through a lot. Your person has really thought this through, or they're thinking it through with the Hermit card, okay? The Queen of Cups, they are receiving. They love what they receive from you. They feel as though you're very loving with them, Taurus, and you are ruled by Venus. So when we end the moon, and so we look, look at the Queen of Cups, that's definitely an energy that Taurus really enjoys and tips, typically exercises. You like to express love. Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest, and they want to know if you're invested. Your person definitely wants to know if you're invested because now we have seven of coins, eight of coins, nine of coins, ten of coins. 
that's a lot of coin baby <laughs> a lot of coin so we get that seven of pentacles so we have one two three four five six seven. we got two more cards to go here for your person's roadmap on how they feel about your Taurus. they want they want something i'm going to take the king of wands so they want to take action your person really really wants to take action six of pentacles they want to give you something they want to show their investment so again we, if this was poker we'd have a flush six seven eight nine ten five card flush and let's see the justice card they want to have a relationship with you up to and including marriage the justice card is all about balance it's libra energy it's a seventh house your person's in love. It looks like you're going to have to be the one to make the decision here, Taurus. 